Breaking news. Holy fire live updates, 21,473 acres in flames, evacuations, relentless air operations, California's holy fire exploded to more than 21,473 acres on Saturday as the blaze moved perilously close to homes in Riverside County's Lake Elsinore area. Here is the latest news and live updates on the Holy Fire. The Holy Fire is currently 29% contained in the Cleveland National Forest area of Southern California's Orange County as it reached its fourth day, officials said. California Governor Jerry Brown declared a state of emergency for Orange and Riverside counties as the fire raged on. In their Saturday morning Twitter update Cleveland National Forest declared Holy Fire had grown to 21,473 acres as firefighters struggled to contain the flames. More than 1,000 firefighters remained on the front lines as a smoke-filled sky blanketed communities in the Lake Elsinore area in the early morning hours. Saturday August 11 10.58 p.m. update Emergency services and Red Cross urge donations instead of supplies The emergency services have said they have more than enough supplies to support relief efforts and are instead urging people to make donations to charity. Fire agencies are already supplying truckloads of food and beverages to crews on major fires but don't have the staff to manage the numerous pallets being brought to fire stations and other locations. The Riverside County Emergency Management Department posted a video on Twitter that instead donating money to charities that support relief efforts, such as the Red Cross. The video said, those monetary contributions go much further. The Red Cross is accepting donations but said it has enough supplies. It tweeted, We currently have everything needed to support relief efforts and have more than enough water, snacks and other items for hash holy fire evacuees. Our shelters do not need further donations at this time. Thank you. 8.00 p.m. update, it looked like a tornado. The flames were just twirling and twirling a resident has described the flames coming from the intense fire as resembling a tornado. Shannon Hicks, 59, defied an evacuation order and watched as firefighters battled flames that descended towards her street in the city of Lake Elsinore. She told CBS News, it looked like a tornado. The flames were just twirling and twirling. I thought, there's no way they're saving my house. But somehow they did. 6.40 p.m. Update, evacuations lifted in three areas around blaze evacuations have been lifted and lifted in three areas as the blaze spanning thousands of acres continues to rage. The Cleveland National Forest tweeted, evacuations have now been lifted only for the Horse Thief, McVicker and Rice areas with Mountain Street at Avocado Way closed at pavement in Lake Elsinore. Mandatory evacuation notices are in place for Mayhew. Sycamore Creek, Glen Eden, Horsa Thief, Rice Canyon, Rice Lake, McVicker, Machado and South El Carrizo and Riverside. There are also voluntary evacuations in shoreline zones. According to government incident website and sea web, the evacuation area covers 7,449 single-family homes and numerous commercial structures with estimated evacuees totaling 21,484 people. Paul Withers takes over live reporting from Georgina Laud. 4.04 p.m. Update, Holy Fire has grown to 21,473 acres and is 29% contained. The Cleveland National Forest have given their Saturday morning update and declared the 21,473-acre blaze 29% contained. They tweeted to their 20,900 followers saying, Hash Holy Fire new fire numbers this morning. 21,473 acres with 29% containment. 3.12 p.m. Update, aerial firefighting missions are relentless says spokesman Bright Pink Fire Retardant and gallons of water are being dropped on the flames from aircraft in an attempt to stem the blaze. Fan Nguyen, public information officer said, the air operations have been relentless. When we drop so many gallons of water. We're doing it to overwhelm the heat with the coolness of the water. 
Holy Fire has grown to over 19,100 acres and is 10% contained more than 21,000 people have evacuated their homes with fires growing dangerously close firefighters are working to strengthen containment lines to prevent houses from being destroyed the next hearing for the Holy Fire arson suspect will be held on August 17 11.52 m update there are 1,511 personnel working to contain Holy Fire. There is a combination of air resources, dozers and fire crews who are making progress along the fire edge to control the fire spread. InsoWeb, a government incident website reported, containment lines have been strengthened on the northwest side of the fire in Coldwater Canyon, north of the North Main Divide Road. 10.17 M Update containment of Holy Fire now stands at 10% in their evening update Cleveland National Forest declared Holy Fire to be 10% contained. The blaze continues to threaten structures, and evacuation orders are still in effect. 9.23M Update, firefighters are working to keep flames away from homes The Holy Fire in the Cleveland National Forest is encroaching on thousands of homes south of Los Angeles and has rapidly grown in size to over 19,100 acres. Despite the danger, some residents have refused to leave their homes, remaining behind to protect their properties. Suspect told emergency services this place is going to burn forest Gordon Clark, 51 appeared in court yesterday for arson-related charges. He told a volunteer fire chief two weeks ago in a chilling text message this place is going to burn. He was arrested earlier this week. Caitlin Doherty takes over reporting from Georgina Laud Friday August 10, 9.19 p.m. Update, Cleveland National Forest explain why fighting the holy fire is so difficult when asked by a Twitter user why the firefighters were struggling with containment Cleveland National Forest replied because of the steep topography with limited access and nowhere for our firefighters to go. It is in an area with little fire history and dry fuels. Couple that with high temps, and it becomes extreme. 8.39 p.m. Update, Holy Fire Suspect appears in court Forrest Gordon Clark, 51, appeared in court today for arson-related charges. In chilling court footage Clark stared directly at the courthouse camera. When the charges against him were read aloud by the judge, Clark said, that's a lie. His arraignment was set back until August 17 and his bond was set at $1 million. 7.42 p.m. Update, residents warned to pay attention to the evacuation orders Fire officials have warned residents to heed evacuation orders and remain prepared. Fan Yen with the SoCal Team 1 Fire Management Team suggested that those in the areas of the fires should have a packed bag ready to go. Even if you're miles away, you want to be prepared if you're near the fire area or in an environment that can burn. 6.23 p.m. Update, Holy Fire intensifies as more residents flee their homes Cal Fire Battalion Chief Tim Chavez has said that firefighters have a long battle ahead and that he expects the fire to grow further. The homes are really in danger. Otherwise we would not pull the evacuation trigger, he said. 4.55 p.m. update, shocking NASA images show the extent of the smoke plumes NASA have released images of the California wildfires captured via a satellite in space. Towering plumes of smoke can be seen rising from the fires, seen clearly from space. NASA astronaut Ricky Arnold took some of the images images of the threatening wildfires from his vantage point on board the International Space Station, writing on Twitter, plumes of billowing smoke from the hash California wildfires stretch eastwards toward to the Rocky Mountains. 3.17 p.m. Update, Holy Fire suspect hearing rescheduled due to his refusal to leave his jail cell according to Los Angeles CBS. Forrest Clark failed to attend his first hearing after refusing to leave his jail cell yesterday. The hearing has since been postponed to later today and will take place with or without him say CBS. Evidence as to how the fire began is still being analyzed says Orange County Fire Authority Battalion Chief Shane Sherwood. As far as exactly how it was started, we're still working through some of that evidence, Chief Sherwood said. Georgina Laud takes over live reporting from Vicai Oliphant 11.17 M update, Forrest Clark could face even more charges against him Jeffrey Kirk, a deputy district attorney in Orange County, 
said in a video posted by Los Angeles television station KTLA that more charges could be filed against Clark because the fire and investigation are continuing. The sky's the limit, Kirk said, according to ktla11.00 update, latest school closures all Menifee Union District and Paris High School Union schools announced they would shut down Thursday, citing the poor air quality. Other schools that are closed are from the Lake Elsinore Unified School District School include, Luisino School, Rice Canyon Elementary, Terracotta Middle School and Withrow Elementary. District officials said they will be closed until further notice. 10.28 M Update, Evacuation Orders Latest mandatory evacuations have been issued in the following areas. McVicker Canyon Rice Canyon Horse Thief Canyon Glen Eden El Carriso Village Mayhew Slash Sycamore Creek Rancho Capistrano Ortega 74 Highway Corridor from the Lookout Restaurant to the Nichols Institute Trabuco Canyon Holy Jim Canyon Machado South El Carriso Riverside and Shoreline Zones All homes on the mountainside of Lake Street and southwest of Grand Avenue to Ortega Highway are under mandatory evacuation orders. 10.19 M Update Humid weather conditions fanning the flames The fire is being fueled by dry brush covering steep terrain and stoked by erratic wind gusts during the night, said Fan Nguyen, a spokesman for the incident said. Strong downdrafts is making the fire move aggressively downhill, said Nguyen. Firefighters are working to build barriers and containment lines to protect more than 2,000 homes at risk from the fire. 10.06M Update Fire is like a war zone more than 21,000 people have been evacuated in and around Lake Elsinore. Furious flames and billowing smoke rose into the sky at the edge of the city of 60,000 as the blaze burned nearby in the Santa Ana Mountains. It feels like a war zone, Anna Tran told the Los Angeles Times as ash and flame retardant fell on her neighborhood. 10.01M Update Fire size fluctuating officials had lowered the acreage of the fire to 3,399 acres on Tuesday but raised it to 6,200 acres Wednesday afternoon. The size then exploded to 9,614 acres, Cleveland National Forest officials announced Thursday. And late into Thursday, the blaze expanded again to 10,236 acres. 9.40M update. Citizens watch as the fire creeps towards their homes Rudy, a Riverside firefighter who had just come off the front lines, watched as the flames moved into his own back garden. We do our due diligence to protect those homes, but being here there's nothing I can really do. I don't have my apparatus or my crew. But I do trust the local agencies, Cal Fire, ECFA doing their jobs, so I feel safe, he said. Some man-made preventions such as a quarry and construction helps to keep the fire from quickly moving in, he added. 9.30 M Update, one man arrested for arson over Holy Fire Forest Clark, 51, was arrested on Tuesday on suspicion of setting the fire. He was charged with multiple criminal counts including aggravated arson and making criminal threats, the Orange County District Attorney Office said in a statement on Thursday. Clark who faces a maximum sentence of life in prison if convicted, was held on bail of $1 million. His arraignment was rescheduled from Thursday to Friday. 9.20M Update, Homes being painted with fire retardant to avoid further damage A wall of foes check was painted to protect houses near Crystal Ridge Court. It's got a nice, little pink tone to it. It actually looks a little better than it did when they originally dropped it said Lake Elsinore resident P.J. Rodriguez. It was super red, but it's okay, I'd rather have to deal with this than have to rebuild an entire new house.